Right, welcome to the final day of the 2018 Cyprus Bowls Festival. We have just started on the green the doubles final between Daz Wardle and Doreen Bickerstaff and they are playing Eddie Lonergan and Eric Whitehead and I'm delighted to say I'm joined by the one and only Ronnie Lyons who will provide her expert commentary. She's one of the most experienced players you could find on this green. So welcome Ronnie. Good morning everybody. It's a beautiful morning here in Pathos. It's a little bit confusing in the doubles because the, the two gentlemen are both playing with red bowls. But uh, Eddie's led off and led a decent bowl. So we'll see what happens next. thing about doubles Ronnie anything can happen anything at all you can have four good bowls around that jack and then the last bowl scatters them and instead of being four up they one down but it's a good start from the gentleman um, it looks like Darren is on uh, he's not far off the jack with both bowls And Doreen has bowled a superb bowl, actually touched the jack. It's finished up only 12 inches. So we'll see what uh, Eric can do with his bowl. He bowls these greens well. He's done well in the gents competitions. He's just given up. Eric was telling me he's not new, uh, using his normal bowls. He's using a borrowed set of uh, £2.10 Taylor Grippers. And it's absolutely wrapped them. I don't know if he's intending to give them back to the owner, but I was uh, I would suspect not. Well, Darren and Doreen have won that end with Doreen's superb bowl touching the jack. So Darren is leading off. They've got two on the card to start with. And what a good lead. Superb, sat nicely behind the jack. I can't argue with the way that Daz has started here. He's had two decent bowls first end and uh, what can we find? An excellent bowl in the second. He's made a change his peg already. Only just missed it with that bowl. But he's got another one and I'm sure he's correct. Well, where that bowl stopped, it might be in the way for Eddie. Let's see what he can do. He's actually gone the original peg with his second bowl. And it's just gone out. I've noticed all week watching Eddie play. I think the terminology I'm looking for is bowls wouldn't peg in a walk. That's what they all say, but he handles them well. And Doreen's just bowled another toucher. She's on form this morning. Eddie's Sorry, Eric's just given up with that bowl. He's wasted that gorgeous land by being short. Up, 
Doreen's second bowl just misses Jack and has gone out. Edit short, that. Cardinal Sin. And we have measures called. First one of the day. Another two for Doreen and Darren. A good lead from Darren. This length suits him. Him and Doreen bowled this length yesterday and bowled expertly. I don't want to bring back a painful memory, Ronnie, but did you not get beat by the, this particular pair in the semi finals? A hell of a game that I witnessed. I did, yes, along with my partner. Kerry Morris, who I think was still feeling drained from his comeback in his single semi-final. But it takes two in the purse and they did both better than we did. Wonderfully diplomatic. Lady as ever. What were you saying under your breath? <laughs> I think Eric was saying at his first couple of ends that he was just struggling to find the length a little bit with his first four bowls. So they swapped order. And so Eric's followed uh, Darren's lead. It's a bit easier for us. We haven't got four red bowls the, the, around the jack at the same time. Eric's just wanting to give Eddie some advice, but Eddie's not waited. Well, that was a good shot from Eddie. Magic words from Eddie, we were on and now we're not. Doreen's second bowl has gone off the green with the jack being moved she most probably struggled to get the land with that one Eric now decided that they're already on and Eddie's going for two <laughs> good bowl from Eddie there that makes them two Eric's coming straight towards us, isn't that nice? He's a nice man, Eric. A shorter length jack here from Eric. He bowls this length superb. He can bowl long lengths as well, but this is his length. What a good bowl.
a torture. You can't possibly get a bowl closer to the jack than that. Well, I noticed yesterday this particular pair and were adept at beating bowls like that, so could they do it again today? Just slightly short with that bowl, Darren. Another good bowl from Eric. Right in the way. And down and studying it. Which way should I go? It's protecting the bowl both ways really. What does he uh, what does he do? Can't be sure, obviously. Another bad bowl there from Eddie. If that jack moves, it could go to that bowl. Doreen's a bit wide with this one. But then again, she's got a back bowl now. If she can move that jack. She's gives this bowl a chance. She really has. Oh. oh, unlucky. Well, by our wonderful mathematics, the use of an abacus and a, use a very kind and very knowledgeable man at the side who's put pen and paper, we, we've discovered the score might well be 8 7. There's two decent bowls there, but it's difficult to tell from here whether the red bowl has gone into count. And Eric's left it short. He's not happy with that one. This is not short of Eddie's. It was a good ball from Eddie, but there's still two down. Doreen's got that one away nice, but unfortunately it's gone in the back of... Well, Darren's actually. This looks a good speed from Eddie. Just gone out though. What a wonderful bowl. She really is on form this morning. think that was a full house. It certainly was. 
Okay, 21 up off three in this game, so that makes them halfway there. 11 8 lead. An excellent lead there from Darren. He's touched the block and just sat behind it. Well, Eric's been beating these type of bowls all week, but needs to reach. He's not happy with it, but it makes another. Superb from Doreen. She's corrected with her second bowl, as she has been doing. Lying two nice bowls there. Good effort. Well, two more to Doreen and Darren. Tactics are working well, Ronnie. No need to change them, I wouldn't have thought. 13 8 up. Yeah, I wouldn't have thought so. This length that Darren's bowling seems to suit both of them as it did yesterday. That part of the green where Darren's bold, once you pass that jack it forgets to stop. I think the bowls want to head towards the five star Athena Athena Royal Beach Hotel, which I believe that during your lengthy stay on the idyllic island of Cyprus you've also sampled, Ron, is that correct? It is correct, yes. Both superb hotels. Um, the, the Royal is quieter than the beach but they've both got their own points, which I don't mind either one to stay in. I don't know what you think, Ronnie, but I know from a, someone who's filming the action, all these coloured bowls we have in the game now makes it much easier for me. As a player, what do you think of them? Um. It is easy for the spectators to see who's gone on, except for this morning with the four red bowls. Um, I have been tempted to play with some coloured bowls, but if you're playing with something that stands out, you've got to play good bowls. It's more noticeable when you don't. But you do, Ronnie, you do. Sometimes, sometimes. I keep trying.
Look, Bo from Doreen. She's playing very well today, Ronnie. She is. As she did yesterday, she was taking good balls off us that were on the jack. Another four from Darren and Doreen. They're definitely liking that corner. Yes, definitely. I think Darren's left hand could be catching Eric and Eddie out as well on this mark. You can't be tight playing down to this corner or they peg away. Another good lead from Darren. Was only wanting four more points for game, 17 8 up, and they've made their opponents change the order again. Eddie and his red bowls following. little connection was needed and it's very useful. Excellent bowl there from Eddie. He's made himself two now. The counting two so far, but what can Dorian do with the last bowl? I think it looks to be too wide. Speed as well, wasn't it? Well, at least she wasn't short. You don't be short when you're down. That's man. right. Gives Eric a chance to count three here. He's supposed to put two yards in his first bowl. Needs to run, needs to fly that ball. Can it get past Darren's bowl? It can't. Just the two. 17-10 or 10-17 I still play the next end. I noticed in the semi-final they played yesterday that Eddie and Eric were both very adept at playing this cut, this edge, especially as the jack well, almost brushes the edge of the green. A bit overzealous with that ball, Eddie. <laughs> into the back of Darren's bowl.
The land looks good on this bowl. It's all about the length. At the conclusion of this uh, open doubles final, we shall then switch over to the game that actually just start on the green as well, which is two ladies that Ronnie knows very well. Yes, they both play these greens excellently. Julie has bowled well all fortnight, uh, and so is Joan. You can't take anything away from either of them both deserved ladies to be in the final. They count three that end to go all but. Jones started off well, winning one end on at one point on that end but there were four good bowls around the jack. They bowl a similar length, these two ladies, so it's going to be very interesting. Joan with her left hand, off she goes. And this is a mark that she plays really well. The doubles final, they're quite handily bowling down in front of us, Ronnie. Yes, we'll be able to see whose red ball will be counting at this end and what a good lead from Darren. And Jones put a good lead up with her first ball as well. Good effort from uh, Eddie there, just skimmed the jack. only needing one more point for game so all the pressure now on Eddie and Eric good bowl there from Eddie he's only about 18 inch past the jack Lovely land from Doreen there, just need another yard. Yeah. Yeah. Eric's just struggling for a length in this game so far. Doreen looks like she's given this a bowl a chance. Unlucky there, Doreen. is required. Is it one or is it two?
It's two. Julia managed to win that block off uh, Joan there. But I'm surprised she's going back where she is with the jack because that's a mark that uh, Joan normally plays. But as I said at the beginning, they both seem to bowl the same length jack. But it's a good lead from Julia. A good response there from Joan. Frank's just going on the green to see who's on. Good ball from Darren, all kinds of pressure now on Eric. The leisure on that end, Joan conceded it to Julia, but it looked very close from here. Lovely land from Doreen there, but it's just gone out. <coughs> and the first final of the day has been completed. Darren Wardle and Doreen Bickerstaff have won 21-12. We shall now, as promised, go over to the Joan Jolly and Julia McDonald game. And also starting on the green is the men's round robin final, which is Ian Nicholson and Kerry Morris. So we'll do our best to do uh, cover both. For those that don't know these two ladies, Joan Jolly is in the, well, the blue, the turquoise blue, and Julie MacDonald is in the orange top. Joan called for a 19 metre measure and was successful. The jack did not go for the required minimum distance of 19 metres. So now Joan sends the block and decides where they go.
bit of a loose end from Julia here, right? Yes, well, Jones made her suffer, not bowling the length. And there's plenty of room for Joan to come in for two, which I'm sure she will do. Yes, I thought she would. You can't leave jo Joan that much room. The ladies' uh, consolation final is between Thelma Rogers and Doreen Bickerstaff. And because Doreen has been on and had a game on the green, Thelma is now going on for a roll-up to get her length. Joan was a what, four or five foot short with her lead bowl and Julia stepped in. Joan caught her first ball with that, which took in off course, so there's room for Julia to come in for two, if she can get past Joan's short bowls. Joan's not sure who's in for second bowl there, so she's called for the measures. Julia's second bowl did count, so she's got two good points there on the card. Four across. lead from Julia, just pegged away at the end. Don't know who's on now. Can't tell from here. Julia's looking at this end. I don't think she's sure who's on. So could possibly call in for the measures again.
the ladies didn't need a measure on that. After having a good look at it, Julia conceded the end to Joan. Joan's gone back on one of her favourite marks. And what a good lead. Julia's ball's giving up, but looked a good la looked on good land, but she needs a good few yards in it. Another good ball from Joan there. Julia will have to be up with this one. She's put much more in it, but too much. Another two for Joan. Another good lead from Joan there. Excellent bowling. <coughs> Julia's missed that land a little bit. It could be that uh, Joan's left hand is catching Julia out on this mark. All kinds of pressure. Joan's playing really well. She is. She bowls these greens superbly. And it shows because she's in a, another final later on. <sighs> Unlucky there, Julia. You gave your bowl a chance. Joan's lead bowl's just gone a couple of feet past the jack, which leaves room for Julia. Another superb bowl there from Joan. She's lying two at the moment. Julia's under pressure. Another two from Joan. 
Julia needs a, a feel of this block and getting uh, her leads up. The score at the moment is 11 for Julia, uh, Joan, sorry, and 4 for Julia. the good lead from Joan she's not gone very far past that jack I'd say about 18 inches Julia's coming in with this one just looks like it's gone into count in the other game on the green uh, this is the game between Kerry Morris and Ian Nicholson in the men's round robin final uh, that's 21 up off three and Kerry Morris has got off to an absolutely fantastic start and he's 7-1 up. Ian's doing all his can to, to stay in the game, been playing some very good striking bolts, but can't can't get the jack away from Kerry at the present minute. Yeah, both games on the green are 21 up, off three. So that will make the score tell a lot. I may have that wrong, I have to consult the magic sheet. Yeah, these games are straight 21 and a good bowl from Joan there another point there for, for Joan So the score on that game is 11-5, oh sorry, 12-5. Joan's back on one of her favourite marks and the jack's gone the length that she normally likes. Yeah, good lead. Good land from Julia, but she needs another yard in it. Jones just crept in for that second bowl to make two. What a superb 
pressure bowl that was excellent Joan complimenting Julia on that bowl Julius changed the length and bowled a good lead bowl. Joan's just asking Julia if she's lying too. It will make a difference as to what she plays, whether she turns the ball over or goes straight for it. It was only one after them having the measure, so at least Julia's got the, bowl, the block in her hand. And I'm sure she won't be bowling Joan's length with this jack. Yeah, nice lead bowl there from Julia. The score in the men's round robin final is a uh, Kerry Morris twelve, Ian Nicholson four. A good second uh, lead bowl there from Joan. She's beaten Julia's. First bowl, what's Julia saying with this? <laughs> I think Joan played a safety bowl there because Julia's bowl was not far away from the jack but Joan counting one which makes the score 13-7 The tactics are working well so there's no real point in, in changing anything 
healthy lead in the game. Exactly. Good bowl from Joan there. She's only about a foot off the block. This seems to be running nice from Julia. I think she may have just gone out. Good correction from Joan there. Now Julia's not short. Is it too speedy to come in? Well, she hit Joan's bowl. Don't know whether it's counting or not. Yes, it was. Good bowl from Julia. It's actually touching the jack. A good response there from Joan. And I'm not sure it's meeting Julius. And Julius kept away from the head with a second bowl. What a good effort from Joan there. But I think Julie is still lying with her touching bowl. Three superb bowls from the girls. Well, Julia seems to have found her length now, and it's not um, not a bad bowl there. And this bowl of Jones is on the land, but just a bit speedy.
that's a good ball from Joan there. Like it's counting. Yeah, it looks like a length bow, doesn't it? Yeah. It's a 14 9. in the men's final, it's now 15-7, Kerry Morris leads Ian Nicholson. <coughs> Kerry Morris leading finger peg. I say that because I could see he was looking towards us, so he's coming down right in front of us, Ronnie. He counted two good bows on when he bowled here previously. And he didn't let me down there. Excellent ball. Waste of a good land again for me and yard short. Kerry's got such a smooth delivery, it makes it look easy. easy. Wow. Ian can't be shot with this ball. Must give it a chance. Oh, he won't be happy with that. Seventeen seven. Joan counted with two good balls on the last end, which makes her score sixteen nine. She's just gone a yard past her lead jack. Left room for Julia. And jo Julia hasn't capitalised on Joan's lead. She's a good yard and a half short. Kerry's, Kerry's played once again under the wonderful lead, putting all the pressure on Ian. Wasn't a bad strike to catch on camera from Ian Nicholson. He's usually pretty good with his strikes, isn't he? Doesn't miss very very often. I think Ian was impressed with that one though. He looked he was quite proud of himself picking the mat up. Ladies are having a measure on the end to decide who's on, who's nearest the jack. A feature of this men's games that when Ian does have the jack he's just not able to put the same amount of pressure on onto Kerry as Kerry's been doing to him. And once again just playing short with his with the second bowl as well. Yard all round for Kerry. Kerry's taken some out of his first bowl, but he 
Well, 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 well. Two for Ian Nicholson. That makes him 9.17 as they go, so he's almost in double figures. And in the other game, Joan Jolly leads Julie MacDonald 18.9. Joan counting another point there. Excellent bowl on the jack. And we'll just go back to the ladies game for what could be the last end. Joan's leading the jack, 19-9. And on her favourite mark, well, one of her favourite marks, She does play this green well, Joan. <laughs> Julia looks a bit speedy with this bowl. It looks to have gone out. Oh, excellent bowl from Joan there. She looks to be lying game with those two. Oh. She went all in with that last bowl, all or nothing. Yes, definitely. She couldn't be short. Well bowled, Joan, and hard lines, Julia. So let's just go over to the men's game. Been notable, Ronnie, in what the end that we've seen when Keddie's got the jack, he's led really, really well. And Ian's just a bit, I think, just a little bit frustrated with himself that when he's had the chance with the jack, he's not able to put the same amount of pressure onto Kerry. No, the both bowls are a yard off, and I'm sure both of the guys will correct with the second bowl. It looks like Ian's lying too there. Kerry's bowl again. Kerry's bowl again, just looking like it's going to pull up short and does. I think it probably saves, makes it another single. 17-11, I think, if my... Uh, if me adding up's correct, <laughs> can't promise anything because it's seldom correct. So 11, 11 17 is the go now. The ladies' consolation final has just started and they're having the measure on the first end. And the game is between Thelma Rogers and Doreen Bickerstaff who bowled superb, as you know, in their doubles. Thelma won the point after a measure on the first end.
wasn't a bad lead at all for me and Nicholson, but Kerry went and put one right by the jack. And what a hit for me, and it's him to play the kind of ball to stay in this game. Can Kerry put it back? He's still looking at this as, as Kerry, but I'm not sure he thinks he's, he doesn't think he's played as good a bowl as he did last time. And he's just give up. Just played short with that second bowl. Another one to Ian Nicholson. Dragging himself back into this game. Currently the lead out, Ian Nicholson 13, Kerry Morris 17. Another good ball from Kerry, just beating Ian's ball, giving Ian a number of problems in this game, and now he's got another one, can't play weight at it, it's too much of a gap and in danger of moving his own ball, so he's just going to have to try and correct, and put what, two and a half feet in his first ball. And he's stuck it out, so giving Kerry the opportunity. Requires two to go to 19, and he's still looking at this. Best bowl of the best bowl of the four played. Two for Kerry Morris, 19, 13. He will lead out. Another good lead from Kerry, and one of those annoying leads, the gap to go through if you're too far, but within a couple of feet of the jack, I'm playing a thumb peg mark through the middle of the green. They're playing through the, say, the middle of the green, that's on the, the original carpet, and both Matt and Jack is positioned on the carpet that during the the uh, out of season that they have over here that they've done some work on the green and flipped the carpet over so it's just running a little bit different than what these what the players have been ex used to having on this green and that ladies and gentlemen is the end of that game two for Kerry Morris 21-13 he beats Ian Nicholson So we'll go over to the remaining game on the green, to the ladies' consolation final between two very good friends of Ronnie, Thelma and Doreen, and it's currently well, it was 2 1, and I think Doreen just got another to even the game up. 
And Ronnie, you know both these players extremely well. Yes, I do. Uh, Thelma's a very good friend of mine, and she's playing with some new bowls this time on a visit to Cyprus. Um, and actually, she bought them off me, and I think I might want them back. She's use, using them very well. But Doreen has sent a good bowl here. She's still, still playing a good length, as she did in the doubles. Although Thelma put a good lead up on the last end, Doreen knocked it off. Thelma's responding to Doreen's good lead, and it's difficult to see who's on there. They're both very close. I suspect that last bowl is probably just, just one. But what's Doreen saying with this? <gasps> Might have just gone out. Yes, it looks as if it has. Doreen just indicates Thelma's on and can she couple up? It's looking good. Well, has it run enough to make a double? <laughs> yeah, two good balls there from Thelma. Although Doreen had put a decent lead up. Are you on a share of the winnings from the, with these bowls? No, no, I'm not, unfortunately. Did you negotiate that in the contract? No, I didn't. I think I should have put the price up, though, the way she's playing with them. Looks good, Lamp Thelma. not gone far past the jack that Doreen was a bit off the land and a bit speedy I'm sure she'll correct with a second bowl Say in the Wigan area that that bone of film is as tighter than cramp. Yes, it could be. Yeah, Doreen's gone out again with that second bowl. I suspect that tighter than cramp second bowl of film is may have got another. Yes. Doreen's just not cut the length on that mark. Thelma counted two there. And this game is only 11 up. So Thelma's made a good start. 6-2. Doreen might be a little bit fatigued after putting what she did into that doubles game. Bowling excellent. I had a superb game with Thelma in the ladies' main competition. Just managed to beat her 21 20. Let's put a good lead up here. It's only 14 inch past the jack. Doreen looks to be pulling up. Good land though.
Doreen's certainly not playing with the same consistency she did in the last game, in the no. doubles final. That's what I say. She could have put all she had into that one. And a little bit exhausted. Oh, she looks further with this one as she gets past the short bowl. And it's just stuck out. It's in the short game, 7-2. Only four more points required for victory. Just slightly tight with that bowl from Thelma, just pegged away on her, but it's a good length. Doreen's is better land, as she got the length. That's probably gone out, Ronnie. It looks it from here, doesn't it? This looks good land. Well, can Doreen, can you get past that short one? Well, it's not hitting anything. Is it hitting yeah. the gap? Is it going out? The cry from the side is that that is one. Oh. It looks like it's just data length, doesn't it? Yes. Now can Doreen put a good lead up and get back into this game? Coming nice this bowl from Doreen. Couple of feet off the jack. But the way Thelma's been bowling, there's, there's room for her. She got the jack. Oh, just skimmed the jack. Gone out, yard and a half. Good bowl from Doreen there. If she counts with these two bowls, I'm sure she'll feel better. But what's Thelma doing with this? <gasps> she went through a gap of about eight inches. The score now is five, seven. Five to Doreen, seven to Thelma. I'm sure Doreen will relax a little bit now. She's had a feel of that jack for a couple of ends. Tapping her thigh with the hand, she knows she'd put too much into that bowl. And the way Thelma's been bowling, you can't leave her that that much room. Wouldn't like to say she was on there. No. The 
this is further. Well, that looks like it could have knocked them this first bowl in. <coughs> the possibility of two there. Oh, just the one. Elmer will, will be happy with that. Doreen disappointed. Excellent lead. Front toucher. Doreen didn't like it. Turned her back on it very, very quickly. Not quite sure why. It's a good effort. <laughs> it, it did well, didn't it? That's about 14 inch off. She sent it and turned, turned around immediately. <laughs> I think Thelma turned this bowl over. Could be going in for two. Excellent bowl. You sold these bowls, Ron, didn't you? I did, yes. I don't know whether I'm regretting it or not. <laughs> they're slightly smaller than the bowls that I play with. I'm not sure whether they're 2.6. I play with the 2.10. I feel comfortable with them in my hand. It is. That makes the score. Ten five. Thelma needs a good lead here to be victorious. I think she'll go to the middle of the green over there. Yes. A bit heavy with this one, Thelma. Left door in plenty of room there. And she's got it away nicely. Well, she's a couple of yards short with that, but it could be the counting bowl. This looks sure a good I bowl. Not sure, I don't think. Ball, eh? Excellent bowl. Doreen's under pressure now. Has she reached? No. Mm, she knows. Mm. Excellent bowl in there, girls. Yeah. Well, both on my hard lines, Doreen. She knew when it left her hand that she was sure with it. <coughs> and the final score was 11-5. Thelma, Rogers and Doreen Bickersnap.